I will not eat two more days after this. We in Torre Vieja, Spain, and I'm ready to show you the best format of culinary adventures that I've ever met. It's an Asian buffet. As you step into these vibrant dining spaces, you are greeted by a diverse spread of Asian cuisine, endless rows of steaming dim sum, fresh sushi, and woks. The buffet format allows you to curate your own gastronomic adventure, exploring the bold flavors, textures, and spices. Wow! The quality of goods are high, and the prices are pretty reasonable. Let's eat. Travel for food, fill up your belly with bits that are good. Scrub up the soup, use a spoon or a fork on your hands. Food so good, it make you do a dance. Open your mouth wider, let's eat. They also have some soups here, the picante one, the hot soup, and the duck soup. Lots of potatoes, ribs, chicken, shrimps, lots of different veggies, salads, appetizers, fruits, some yogurts and ice creams, and also some desserts. Here we have chicken, fried rolls, lots of nuggets. They have lots of seafood and a lot of raw meat which you can basically put on your on the plate right right here put some shrimps put some meat put some uh, pulpos squids fish whatever veggies and the man over there is gonna make it happen for you hola nice you pay around 17 euro per person and all the drinks are not included so i took some rice noodles with chicken and also we have plenty of different rice and different kinds of noodles with different kinds of sauces and i gave this man my shrimps i took several kinds of them and i hope it's gonna be delicious so here we have guys i took some seaweed uh, this ginger is for my sushi i got plenty of them with salmon some mussels some tomatoes with, uh, with cheese and, uh, and basil, some lettuce with tomatoes and eggs, and the rice noodle with some chicken. And also I'm waiting for my shrimps. I love rice noodle. With some bell pepper, the green one. With some cabbage. Amazing. Some chicken. Grilled one. Mm, 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 mm. Wow. Crispy outside and super juicy inside with a little bit spicy sauce. Tastes amazing. Let's take together. Mm, 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 mm. Wow, wow, wow. I'm gonna taste shrimps. Look at that. How juicy is that? Mm. The sauce with olive oil, basil and garlic tastes wonderful. Mm. Wow. It's a flavor explosion in your mouth. So good, made on the grill, wow, amazing, okay, what else, I'm a big sushi guy and uh, I don't have uh, my chopsticks, where, where are the chopsticks, I'm gonna find the chopsticks, you continue filming. I got it, all right, let's try 
sushi first. We have some soy sauce. We're gonna pour it down. The leftovers put on the other sushi, and let's do that. Mmm. Mmm. The rice is prepared nicely. The salmon is raw. You you basically feel their flavor of the sea in that salmon. It's very juicy, it's very tender, and it's oily, which is great for, for salmon. All right, I have another kind of roll with a cucumber and a salmon as well. Also some... Mm. The cucumber adds some freshness to this roll. Tastes amazing. What about mussels? With a little bit of salsa, bell pepper, onion, and some vinegar. So basically, we do it like that. Mmm, vinegary, a little bit salty, and super fresh. Basically, you also can feel the ocean. What else? Oh, we got some seaweed. I, I love this. Mmm. It's very good, it's very good. The only thing that you have to bear in mind is that if you put something on a plate, you are about to, to eat it till the end. Otherwise, uh, it will be like the last time when you're eating here. So the format of buffet has its own rules and I think it's great. So you, uh, I, but I will handle these three tiny plates on my own, believe me. Mm. But let me get back to my rice noodle. I love this grilled chicken so much. Actually, in Spain, this format of buffet is very popular. And I know why. Because the quality of goods are high and the prices are, are pretty reasonable. This makes buffet format very popular here. Oh, look at this meaty, shrimpy monster. Mm. Mm. Wow. Cooked perfectly on the grill. so succulent and juicy. You have to do it like this. Mm. Lots of juice in the head and water. To mix it all up here in my stomach. To clean the pipes inside of me. Guys, I found very interesting thing so it's a meat pork with beef and it is in a door uh, and it makes on a steam steam cooked okay three of them will be enough i guess let's put it back and you see a lot of steam going on up here. And you also have a variety of sauces, ketchup, mayonnaise, and barbecue sauce. Sweet chili will be also fine. Just a little bit. All 
right. I think I want some nuggets as well. Chicken nuggets. Just one will be enough. Maybe some rolls. Vegetarian rolls. And we have also with meat. But I, I, will, I prefer uh, with cabbage. Let's try. You see, you have here lots of different types of grilled pork. You have uh, grilled ribs. Some more grilled shrimps in textures. Some uh, beef. More ribs. And even some gyoza. gyoza. So it's like a dumpling. By the way, I think it, it will be fun to try one gyoza. What do you think, guys? Let's try one. All right. We're gonna put this back. Where, where was it? Ah, okay, it's here. And maybe I need some rice, a traditional Asian rice with veggies and eggs. Just a little bit. All right. And perhaps we have to end with some fruits as well. Not too much. Just a little bit. This time I'm gonna use fork. Fruits and grapes will be at the very end. And I'm gonna try this steamed chops. Mmm. Wow. The dough, very thin. Chili sauce is amazingly, goes well with, uh, with the beef and, and pork meat. really nice well I, I like it very much mm. wow I've never tried this mm. so good some rice mm. a little bit of eggs and a little bit of zucchini, a little bit of carrot, a little bit of onion, rice with veggies, just, just amazing. What about nuggets? Mm. Guys, it's not a chicken nuggets, it's a potato pancakes, it's like potato nuggets. Yeah. Wow, super delicious. A little bit salty, crispy outside. Wow. Goes perfectly with steamed chops. Mm. 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 Wow, wow. I will not eat two more days after this. What about dumpling? The meat inside is so juicy. Oh, you can you can literally see! Wow, lots of juice. It's like in, oh, it's like a soup inside of a dumpling. Wow. Mm. So succulent meat with the veggies and some herbs and spices. Well seasoned. And the last thing for today is this veggie roll. I think it's with cabbage. Mm. Yes, it is. So simple, but so tasty. It's not bland. I can feel the, the variety of uh, flavors of different herbs inside this roll. And of course, some carrot with cabbage. <laughs> but but you, can, you can use it, you can uh, dip it into a soy sauce. 
just like this and it will get a little bit salty and even more flavorful mm, mm, yeah yeah some rice mm. yeah definitely this experience is approved by the Beetle channel if you're somewhere around Torre Vieja, Spain check this establishment out you will not regret it sorry you will not regret it guys it's amazing some beer fresh and juicy pineapple mm, mm, mm. <laughs> so sour grapes mm. so sweet some Sharon beautiful experience watch my other videos on my channel subscribe tell your friends that my channel exists and you like my videos I hope you do see you in the next videos bye my name is Ed and I'm a digital creator and a marketing consultant who loves open water swimming and hunting down the world's unique food and places Sometimes I even try cooking by myself. I am excited about every single new authentic dish. What amazes me the most is what's behind those dishes. Local people, their traditions, stories and the experience I get every single time in every single country or city. And I'm proud to have you, my loyal audience. Our community is growing. I feel your support and I really appreciate it. It means the world to me. Thanks you all for watching, liking, commenting and especially to those who donate by super thanks buttons. It helps my channel grow and prosper. Let's continue growing together. Hey, the Beatle channel is the